Here we come to the end of chapter 7 on exponential and logarithmic functions. And I know you're all saying, aww, so quietly on the inside, or loudly, or out loud. Ooh, that'd be even better. Anyway, so today we're going to talk about natural logarithms. Um, so we've kind of talked a little bit about um, E and described what it is, that constant. Well, a natural logarithm is the inverse of E. So we're going to be using that. So our uh, essential question is how are logarithms related to exponential models? So our objectives are to evaluate and simplify natural logarithmic expressions and to solve equations using natural logarithms. So kind of the same thing we've been doing. Uh, same rules apply as everything else that we've been doing. Uh, the function y equals e to the x power has an inverse, the natural logarithmic function y equals log base e of x or y equals natural log x. So log base e is a natural log. So it's just all that saying it's a natural log. If y equals e to the x power and x equals log base e of y, that equals the natural log of y. The natural logarithmic function is the inverse of x equals natural log of y, so you can write it as y equals natural log of x. So remember when we talked about inverse functions in chapter 6, you switch x and y, um, same kind of thing. Alright, so simplifying a natural logarithmic expression. So what is 2 natural log 15 minus natural log 75 written as a single natural logarithm? Okay, so rules that apply for logarithms also apply for natural logarithms. So if this were just a log, what would we do first? Well, we'd take and rewrite that 2 as an exponent of 15. So it's uh, natural log 15 squared minus natural log 75. Okay, and then we would take and... Um, we could square this. What is um, 15 squared? I believe that's, is that 225? 15 squared is 225. So natural log 225 minus natural log 75. Okay, and then what do we do with the subtraction? We take um, our two numbers and divide them. So natural log of 225 divided by 75. And 225 divided by 75 is 3. So as a single natural logarithm, we get natural log 3. So same rules that apply to logarithms also apply to natural logarithms. There's no changes as far as combining and then separating. Exactly the same. Okay, so why don't you go ahead and try this one. What is 3 natural log x plus 2 natural log y plus natural log of 5 written as a single natural logarithm? Okay, go ahead and use your brain power. Don't just depend on me to do everything. Alright, so if we write that as a single natural logarithm, we get natural log 5x cubed y squared. Ta-da! Alright, um, so solving these. Uh, what are the solutions of natural logarithm of x minus 3 squared equals 4? Okay, and now, if we wanted to get rid of a natural logarithm, there's not really a way that we can do these on the calculator. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to do the inverse of natural logarithm. Do you remember from the vocabulary what I said the inverse of natural logarithm is? It's E. So um, we're going to take and kind of like raise these as powers. So E and E down here. So E and natural logarithm, these cancel each other out. So all we're left with is x minus 3 squared equals e to the fourth power. Okay, now, if we wanted to solve for x, because e is just a constant, like pi, uh, how do we get x by itself? Well, first we take the square root. Okay, so if we take the square root of e to the fourth power, we can rewrite this as a square root of e squared, squared. So this becomes e squared. But what do we know about square roots? They have a positive and a negative root. So we have plus and minus e squared when that's simplified. So x minus 3 equals plus or minus e squared. Okay, then to get x by itself, we add 3 to both sides. So 3 plus or minus e squared. This you have to put into your calculator. So put 3 plus e squared and 3 minus e squared. You should get x is about equal to 10.39 or negative 4.39. Okay, check it. Make sure you know how to use your calculator. Okay. Now, you have to double check, put both of these numbers in. Um, you're going to plug them in for your x here. So 10.39 um, 
um, minus 3 is 7.39 squared. We're trying to see, does that equal about 4? So if I square that, I get... Um, Wait, now I'm confused. Oh, I forgot the natural logarithm. That might be why. Okay, so then I get natural log of 54.6121. Does that equal about 4? And then um, natural log is a button on your calculator. If you go on the left-hand column under the um, on your graphing calculator under second alpha math, um, there's a log, and then under that is ln natural log. So if you put that in, take natural log of this, I got 4.00025547. So that's very close to 4, so that would be a good answer. When you plug in negative 4.39, you should get the same thing, 4.00025547. All right, and what about this one? What are the solutions of natural log 2x plus natural log 3 equals 2? Okay, in order to solve this, what do you have to do first? Write as a single natural logarithm, so go ahead and do that first. So you should get natural log of 6x equals 2. Now, we can't solve this, so we're going to make this e raised to these powers. These cancel. So 6x equals e squared. Divide by 6. x is about equal to. Plug that into your calculator, and what do you get? Um, I got 1.23. About equal to 1.23. There's only one solution for this one because we didn't take the square root of anything. Okay, that's only when you have the positive negative solutions. All right, um, when we have exponents, okay, our goal for this is to get the e with the power by itself first. So you need to subtract 2 from both sides. So you get 4 times e raised to the 2x equals 14. Then we divide by 4. So e to the 2x is 3.5. Now, how do we get rid of the e so that we can have 2x? Well, make it natural log. So 2x, uh, e and the natural log cancel each other out. So that becomes natural log 3.5. Divide both sides by 2. Plug it into your calculator. And you get about 0.626. Okay, what about this one? What did you do first? Subtract 5. And then, in order to bring that 3x down, multiply both sides by natural log. Natural log and e cancel each other, so you have 3x equals natural log 15. Divide by 3, plug it into your calculator, and you should get an answer. Okay, that's it. So, um, here is your lesson check. You have four questions. The first two, just write as natural logarithms, a single natural logarithm. And the second two, I want you to solve them. Discuss these with your partner before you start your worksheet. Um, and your homework is lesson 7-6 and also the chapter 7 practice test. We're going to have the test on Thursday. All right. Have a great night.